Hello and welcome to How Are Books Made? My name is Beck Hill and as some of you might know, I've recently written my first book. It's part of a series called Horror Heights. And the book is called The Slime. Go and buy it. But I got to go to the printers to see my book getting printed. So I asked you guys, what do you want to know about the printing process? And a lot of you had questions. Yeah. I'm going to start with a question from at logsb1 who says, how do they get that thing into a typewriter? <laughs> Which uh, is a lovely thought. Um, and I know it sounds funny, but it isn't too far off from how books used to be printed. So you know the end of the little arms on the typewriter that has the letters on them? Well, if you take those little letters, they're called sorts. And they're basically individual little stamps of each letter. And what they would do when they were making books is they would put all the letters together to make the words and then the spaces and everything like that. And they'd put them into a frame and that would make up your page of your book. It's called a form. And then they would apply ink to the top, put the paper on top, and there's your page. And it's not too dissimilar from what they do today. So they use these massive aluminium plates and they etch a whole bunch of your pages onto these plates. And when they etch them and they apply the ink, which is like a mix of oil and water, then what happens is that the ink sticks to the etched part, but not the unetched part. And in fact, at Kenneth Yaw asked, what happens to the offset plates after they're used? Are they recycled into new plates? And I can tell you, at least at Clay's, they are. Um, they're recycled so quickly that I couldn't get any footage of my own plates for you to show in this video. As soon as my pages were printed, they were recycled and turned into new plates. In fact, Clay's is great because they're a zero to landfill company. Once you've got all the pages printed, then they run through this machine that does this intricate folding technique so that when it goes through and the paper's applied and all of that, you end up with a massive sheet of paper with all your pages on it. In fact, it looks a bit like this. That's from my book. But I also took some footage of one of their digital printers, which they use for smaller batches of books. So in this case, instead of the plates being made, the files are sent directly to these massive printers, printed onto the paper, and then immediately folded in this really intricate way and at the end of both of those processes, you end up with the same thing, which is a bunch of pages folded together like this. That's basically your book, which I know doesn't quite look right. So let's see what happens next. You might notice there's some black marks along here and that's actually a barcode. So when the folded sheets are all bunched together and they go through the machine, you'll notice here there's a little quick flash and what that flash is actually doing is reading the barcode. And if it ever notices that the barcode isn't correct and that the pages might be out of order, the whole thing stops until it gets fixed. The bunched up pages are then carried along by the machine and pellets of glue are melted, taken through tubes into the machine and put onto a roller. That's where all of the bunched up pages get covered in glue. The cover is attached. There's a random cup of tea. And then you end up with something like this. You might actually notice that this is two books. But my favorite part is that after the glue and the cover have all been applied, to make sure that everything dries properly and sticks together, it goes on this conveyor belt, then gets carried around a whole part of the factory, like a little tour. And that's just so the glue can dry. It's really cute. Hopefully that answers your question, Goran underscore Newsome. Once the glue is dried, the books are then cut in half. Cut again. Stacked. Put together. Wrapped. 
and then you end up with this the finished product i love it so much it's so nice and in fact i've added a little bit of a fun thing here did you see it so that is how most books are made today I'm aware that a lot of you had questions which haven't been answered just by showing this process alone. So make sure you stay tuned for part two of these videos where I speak to an expert about your pressing queries. See what I did there? Pressing? Like print press. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you share it with your friends and make sure you go out and buy yourself a lovely copy of The Slime by me. Bye.